Today we're going to talk about surface area of rectangular prisms. Think about whenever you're talking about area, that's like the space you can play. Now volume is not the same. Volume is the amount inside. So imagine that this was like a fish tank. The amount of water you could put inside is the volume. We're not calculating the volume today. We're calculating all the space of like the outside. So imagine if you were trying to paint this cube, this kind of paint color, to figure out the surface area would be how you'd figure out how much paint you'd kind of need. So the way you can calculate this is using the formula over here. Two times, and then parentheses, width times length plus height times length plus height times width. So we're going to talk about why each of those numbers is there using this rectangular prism. So let's talk about it. The reason it is multiplying the number 2 over here is because you have two sides that are going to be identical to each other. So for example, this side and this side. There are two sides that are the same measurement. Or if we look at the top and bottom, this side and this side, the top and bottom. Now it's going to take a little bit of thinking for this or spatial awareness or the back side like this the one at the very back and this the one at the very front so you have two sides that are identical so it's saying okay if you have two sides what's the measure of one side plus the measure of the other side plus the measure of the other side and it's going to be multiplied all together so let's work it through and I'm going to show you which each one they're going to discuss first so we have two times width times length. We got to figure out what the width and the length is. I have them all labeled down here. So we have width and we have length. So what it's trying to calculate is it's trying to figure out what's the surface area of this bottom figure and what is the surface area of this top figure over here. That's what it's calculating. This stuff in blue. So if we were to actually set it up, and I'll start doing the formula over here, 2 times the width of this shape is 3 feet, and the length of this shape is 10 feet. And then we go on to our next one. We're going to add height times the length. Well, the height is, I'm doing a different color, the height is 5, the length is 10, so you're really calculating this back square over here. So you're calculating the surface area of this. I'm going to have to take it all away so you can see the front and you're calculating the surface area of this front square. All of this surface area over here. So you would plug in the information for the height and the length. It is five feet long, or five feet tall, the height, by 10 feet long. And then we're gonna talk about the next measurement, which is your height. I'll do this in an even different color, say just a dark blue. The height and the width. So you're calculating the surface area of this shape. And you're going to be calculating the surface area of this shape because they're identical. So we plug in the height. The height was 5. Height is 5. And the width is 3. And if we were to completely disregard this shape, this just looks like an order of operations problem. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I figure out the area of this figure. 3 times 10 is 30. I figure out the surface area of this figure. 5 times 10 is 50. And I figure out the surface area of this shape. 5 times 3 is 15. 
I figured out the surface area of all the individual shapes. Now I'm going to, the reason I'm multiplying this two by each of these is because I have two shapes that are, have a surface area of 30 feet squared. Two shapes that have a surface area of 50 feet squared and two shapes that have a surface area of 15 feet squared. But if I'm following the order of operations, I say, okay, 50 plus 30 is 80. 80 plus 15, bring down everything I'm not using. 80 plus 15 is 95. And I calculate my last thing, 2 times 95, what would that be? I'll we'll work it over here. 95 times 2, 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19. So my answer is 190, but 190 what? I'm calculating it in feet. So it's feet, because I'm still talking about area, squared. So that is is how and why you can calculate the surface of a rectangular prism using the formula. If you don't get anything else out of this, what I would ask you to do is at least screenshot or remember this formula because it'll help you work out any surface area of rectangular prisms. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and follow.